Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you some super easy note-taking hacks with AI that I think will help you this coming school year. So let's get started. Now I know it's back to school season for a lot of you if you're watching this video right now on my channel and reading and note-taking can be a big struggle for those of you in AP or college level science courses. So I just wanted to show you one way that I think might increase your productivity and help with your note-taking strategies a little bit that uses AI. So many of you may be required to read textbook chapters for homework, take notes on them, and then do something with that in class. Some of you may be just required to have read the chapters, not take notes. It's up to you and then come to class and take notes on lectures. It it really depends on the teaching style of your professor or teacher and how the class is formatted. In college, a lot of times, sometimes they give you lecture outlines or PowerPoints, which are great to print out and take with you so you can annotate them as you go, making sure that you're not missing main ideas and you already have some of the key information and things printed out for you. Now, if your teacher or professor doesn't do that, I'm going to show you one way that could help and help you come to class a little bit more prepared to have a notes outline ready to go that you can just annotate and fill in while the lecture or the lesson is happening, and then later go on and resynthesize that into your notes, which is really an active studying strategy that helps you synthesize and understand the information, learning it better, and helps improve long-term memory and content understanding. When you're just retyping your notes word for word and not changing or really interacting with the inter information in a new way, then you're not using effective study strategies. So I think this method could help both with productivity and active study. So let me show you the first trick. So if you do have an online textbook, and don't worry for those of you who don't, I have workarounds too. Something like OpenStax, if you're taking AP Biology, is really popular. A lot of students have this. So let's say that you know this week you're going to be learning biological macromolecules and you had to read chapter 3.1 through 3.5. So what you might want to do before you come to class is to take notes on this information and bring it to class and then have the teacher fill in extra information in your lesson or you could add extra information in your notes. Now to make sure you're not missing anything in your notes, what you could do is just go and highlight all this information here. And I'm going to get rid of this last section here just because that's not going to be very helpful in the exercise. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to type, I'm using 3.5 right now. This is a chapter from an online e textbook for an AP Biology student. Create a bullet point notes outline based on the content of this text. So I'm just going to shift return and paste it in. Make sure I have all my text. It's not formatted very well, but let's see what ChatGPT can do with it. Uh, and so there we go. We have all of our ideas outlined in bullet point form, which makes this really easy to condense. And I can use this and take it back to my class. I can print it out and then I can handwrite while we're in class additional information, examples, drawings, ideas. Um, and we have all the topics that are in here. And of course, always go back and verify that ChatGPT hasn't messed anything up or summarized incorrectly. Um, I would do this in addition to obviously actually reading the chapter. I know some of you will skip that step, but that is your detriment to learning. And so then what I'm going to go do is go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to put it into a blank Google Doc. Um, and I'm just going to take a second to reformat this in a way that is a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to clear the formatting here. And I'm just going to put it into a font that I like and go ahead and add some spaces so I can have room to take some extra notes in class. So you see, this was super easy. It took me all of two minutes to go ahead and get this outline here. And what I can do is I can print this out, take it to class with me, and now I have a really nice, easy course outline to follow along with my lectures. Now, that is just one easy way to do this. Another really cool way would be for me to format this into a Cornell Notes style that helps me study and review a little bit better. So let's say I already have my notes like this. Um, what I'm gonna do is go back to ChatGPT, actually. Um, and I'm going to say now, now I'll format these notes into a two column table. In the first column, include TE terms, ideas, uh, and in the second column, write the information in bullet point style. And then the summary is pretty decent, so I'm not going to ask it to rewrite the summary again. So, all right, here we go. So now we have a really nicely, easily copy and pasted for, uh, table that I can go ahead and copy and paste into a Cornell Notes page that I've created that I can format however I want and go ahead and create a Cornell Notes style page for me, which remember Cornell Notes are really great for organizing information. You can cover up one side and kind of use it like flashcards to review later on. So now I have a really great easy studying tool based on the text that I'm using in class. Now there's a lot of extra things that you can do with this. Right now this video is just on note-taking strategies. So um, I wanted to show you two. For example, let's say um, 
our teacher does not assign an online textbook, you can actually, if you have an iPhone, copy the text off of a page. This might take a little bit longer. And again, I'm just doing like a single section here. And you can actually try it in BARD. I have not had as much success with writing bullet point notes summaries in BARD as I have in ChatGPT. Sometimes you have AI tools like these integrated into Docs and Teams, so you could try it there. So I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and I'm just gonna say, these are, this is, this text from a different AP Biology topic. And I'm gonna tell it the same thing as I did above, create a bullet point notes outline based on the content of the text. All right, and then you can you can tweak this a little bit, say summarizing key ideas, or even ask it to write questions that you might wanna ask yourself later on to review. There's lots of really cool things you could do here to level up your studying. Okay, um, so this is an introductory chapter on evolution from a science textbook. Oh, interesting, and since I did it in the same thread, it automatically formatted into a table for me. So I'm gonna say retry again, removing the table and only include bullet point list with topic headers. So this will keep it a little bit more organized for me within distinct sections. Oh, excellent, look at this. Okay, great. So now we have some pretty easy to understand notes summarizing that page in the textbook and we could condense this and tell ChatGPT to do lots of other different things. And there we go. So I have another page of notes that I can use to study or take with me to class. And I can print this out and annotate this and hopefully make my studying a little bit faster and easier in AP Biology this year. What other ways do you think you could use AI to increase your productivity and learning in your AP or college courses? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.